for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Belmore, New York, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Just missing on the uppercut there. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
They're certainly getting after it early. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Just out of range with that left hook. Attempt there is blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. Not only as a setup, really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his part. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Put him down. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. The right hand just misses. Oh, huge block! Now connects with the right. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. Home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet. And as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Goes to the body there. Ooh, big shot lands. Slips. Just misses with a left hook there. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, big head kick. Unable to connect there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Hard uppercuts, hard uppercuts. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Straight right, he misses. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He gets caught. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Slips to avoid that. And what a round! Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. You got robbed that last round, but you're fine. Okay, ready, round two, you ready? Round two is underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Good punch lands. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hands right back to his face. Try to establish that jab. 
dancing right hand lands upstairs. Lee's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Great punch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Nice body kicks. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. A good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Got clipped with the right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his foot on the low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Let's get going. Big punch land. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. He blocks the punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Right punches there. Look at him with his hip. That kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Lands the sidekick now. Oh, nice. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. that left hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Big head kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his legs. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Switching stances here. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. 30 seconds to go. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Final seconds here of round two. With a punch there, we'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight.
I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Well, most fighters... Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Throws the right hand there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice defense there, huge block. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Hands up! Hands up! Slips the punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Still unable to. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want. He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, so we've got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy